how to make an arrow like this one and not have to scrape it off of Google and get a proper license without it costing anything. This arrow can move as well. You go into Essential Graphics, you'll see Edit and Browse. If you go to Browse, you will see My Templates and Adobe Stock. If you click on Adobe Stock, you get this rather limited collection, but there might be something in there that you find interesting. There's a couple different ways to do this. You can go to Creative Cloud Desktop, go to Stock link, which will take you to a browser, and click on Free, put in Arrows, and you'll see this amazing selection of Arrows, which there is a hundred pages of Arrows. This is just what's on the first page. We want vectors and a background transparent. You select a collection of arrows. Sometimes there's something white in here and it's difficult to change that color. So I'm just going to select some arrows that are black. So you notice it'll say free and license. What if we click on this? And we do license for free. And we want AI EPS, Adobe Illustrator. Download for free. And it's asking us where we want to store it. In pictures, I have a subdirectory save pictures, and on that, on that, I have one called arrows. And there's nothing in it right now. It wants to download this one. I'm going to keep that name so I can have a record of where it came from and just put a dash and a arrow. I've already done arrow one. So this is to cover it for this video for you so we're gonna save that and we can put the browser away let's put the creative cloud desktop away let's look in the location where we put it which is in pictures saved pictures arrows and there it is, Adobe Stock, with that number, and then Arrow 2. We want to open that in Illustrator. So here we have Illustrator. Another way to do it is simply open Illustrator. I want a 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080. Create that. Go to our arrow 2 in pictures. Save pictures. Arrows. Arrow 2. Copy it onto Illustrator. And the thing is huge. So let's make it smaller. We use control minus to zoom out. This is our workspace. So we'll grab this and make it so it fits in here so we can see what we're doing. Although you don't re really have to do that. And then we will control plus to zoom in. Pick one of these that we like. Let's pick this one. And we're going to use the crop tool. Move the crop tool over the arrow that's desired.
hit enter and we now have this arrow. We want to export the arrow. Export as. We'll use a PNG. Call this arrow 2. Export it into pictures, save pictures, arrows. We want this transparent background. We'll use a high resolution. Optimize. OK. Now we're done with Illustrator, so we'll minimize that. We're in Premiere Pro. Go to Media Browser. Click on Arrow from the Media Browser. Right click, Import. Now this will be in the project. Let's move this out of the way. If you can't find Media Browser, simply go to Window and click Media Browser. So it's now imported into the project. Okay, so we click on Window, Projects, in the project that we're working on. That will then show up and we'll find Arrow 2. Click on that and it shows up in the source monitor, but the arrow is black. So you can't see a black arrow with a transparent background. We're going to need to change the arrow to another color. Go to our effects controls, go to window effects and we will come up with this type in change color and it shows up here in obsolete you could also use Lumetri presets but it's a bit more complicated this is easy and we want to drag that I'm in window projects in the project that I'm using and I have the timeline showing so here's the project and I'm going to drag the arrow that's black into the project here move the playhead over and you can see the arrow now we need to make the arrow a different color I'm looking for effects and color change. Change color. So I select that. This needs to be selected. So here's the effects controls. I drop change color into the effects controls and I now have change color as an effect I can control. Okay, so here's here's the timeline with the project in it. Here's the arrow that's selected. If I move away from it, you can see it's not there. If I move back to this arrow, it's not selected, so it has to be selected. Otherwise, it doesn't show up in the effects controls. The effects for this clip, there is no effect to control called color. So if we move back over here, this needs to be selected. And then we have the change color that we dropped into here from the effects. With this selected with the white border around it and in the effects controls we have change color. There is an eyedropper right here and we're going to pick this black color. This 
came up as white, and I already clicked on it. Then we go to Lightness Transform, and we can change that to 100. Now we have it white. So we can put it over the clip, and we can see the white arrow is now over the clip. There's another way to do it, that I did it on this image here. And I used a different, and you always have to remember to click on this. I used change to color. And you click on the eyedropper that you want from, and then you can click on this. And you see I have it down here pink. I can change it to more pink. And you can see up here that that changes the arrow. That's a different arrow that I downloaded earlier. Now resize this arrow. Select it and go to scale over here in the effects controls and we can change the size. We can also change the location, rotate it, Javier Mercedes has three different ways on one of his YouTube videos to change colors. You might want to check it out. It's really well done.